Afternoon. Monday afternoon. Um, went to Wembley last night to watch Harry Styles. I took the daughter, obviously. I, was, I didn't. I didn't just decide to go as a 43-year-old man. So I had to take her back to the train station this this afternoon, uh, this morning, sorry, and then got the way over to the site. I've got been set up and got sorted and whatever else. Um, we're reconfiguring some things, so we've uh, got that to go at today. But yeah, it was a good old uh, good old day. She enjoyed herself. Um, we had something to eat, had good fun listening to us sing and scream and whatever else. Um, the, the support act wasn't my, wasn't my cup of tea. She was like, if you'd have bought, if you'd have ordered Kate Bush off Wish, she'd have turned up. So she, we weren't really interested in that. The girls went and got some food while she was on. And then Harry Styles came on and the screaming commenced. And then, um, we, he was down at the front and there was a guy at the front and he had this sign and I said to the daughter, I said, see this? He went, and that's what Harry Siles said to the kid, he said, do you want to do it now? So I turned to the daughter, I went, I'm going to propose to his girlfriend, this lad. I said, I bet he, he's just took a sign off him, I bet he proposes to his girlfriend. Well, it turns out I couldn't have been any more wrong. Because what he was actually doing was coming out in front of 80,000 people as gay. So I think that was a, it was a big cross on the quiz from me. But yeah, he was uh, he did that. Um, there was a few other bits and bobs that went on, and then the, like I said, the girls loved it. Real good fun. Getting out of London wasn't much fun. I got home at half past one this morning. Didn't get to sleep till about half two, and I was up at half six. So I'm a tired little bunny. I'll see if I can show you what um, what I've done uh, in the switch room. Now I've got to, I'm going to walk in and see if I can show you. So what's happened today? This is the other side of the panel. I've been, work I've been working here behind this one. So what's happened is the ladder has done the job. He's brought the cables in nice and neat outside. And as they drop in, he's, let, he's crossed them on the inside, which to anybody would make sense. The consultant's come along and said, no, he doesn't want that. He wants the crosses on the outside, so it looks bad. <laughs> and he wants them straight on the inside, which is lunacy. So what we've been doing is basically the, the whole tray's been new, uh, re rehashed. We put, got those in. Those ones there are in, and I've terminated them inside. I've got those lifted out of the of the chamber, as you can see, there's nothing in there. They're lifted out and up, so then in the morning, it's it follow those it follow those cables there. So they, those ones need to be pulled down to the rack, tied in through. They're going to drop through that rung there and down and in, and that's uh, tomorrow's work. Same with that one. Same with that one, same with that one. And then once we've done that side, we're gonna spin round and we're gonna do this side. But these have all been installed once by somebody else. And now they've uh, got to be reinstalled by me and the same lad who did the first job. Nice. Anyway, that's me for tonight, seven o'clock now, I'm fed up. So I'm gonna go and have something to eat. Cause I'm just nervin'. Back of the van. Which one should we go for? I am going to hit the sour. I'm going to try that one. But also, to go with the beer, we're going to do a salty snack analysis. So actually, I think I'm going to go for the Bastides. See how it works out. Oh. Oh, buggeration. I didn't read anything, did I? That's 5.5%. What does it say? Sunset Overdrive. Sip and watch the sun go down. 
This paste, pastry sour is the perfect cocktail of bold fruity flavours. Intense, sweet and refreshing. It's a beer worth writing home about. Tart, sweet and fruity. Treat yourself to a vibrant mix of flavours and aromas with bold notes of pineapple, coconut. Give over coconut. It does, I can smell, definitely smell the pineapple, that's for sure. Not a lot of coconut yet, thank God. Let's have a go. Oh yeah, it's sour. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh, Christ, that's sour. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, yes, that is quality. The very first time I ever drank sour beer was in Battersea, in a pub just over the road from the train station. Um, wow. That's like, feels like prickly on your tongue, that's how sour that is. It's, and I, I, I still do it, if you drink sour beer, you still screw your face up. But you embrace the sourness, oh yes, very philosophical today. You embrace the sourness, let it go down into your gut type of thing, it swills around a little bit, and then it like, oh we'll, we'll go for another one, it effervesces back up and makes, it just, it, it's a lovely, a lovely feeling. This isn't doing it yet, but it just it takes a while for it to come back up with the, I don't know what it is, maybe the acid in it. Yeah, but that is tasty, that is really nice. Like you think that on a on a red hot summer's day like we're getting nowadays. Nowadays? <laughs> well we didn't get them in the in the thirties. This this time of year in the summer, it's starting to get like nice and warm. I mean on Friday it was like 31 or something. And that was um oh hey, hang on, hang on. Here's the effervescence. <laughs> Tidy. Lovely, definitely recommend you getting that. And 5.5, you're gonna stick, a, you're not gonna stick too many into you and you're gonna be uh, on your merry way. Right, time for the saltiness. Look like little bollocks, don't they? Could I have a packet of bollocks, <laughs> a bag of bollocks, please? You can see, look, I still haven't got changed from work, so let's pop a, let's pop a bollock in. Oh, they're nice. Mm. Oh, lovely. Very nice indeed. That's just what you need to wash the, um, to be washed down with the old sour sunset, what was it called? Sunset Overdrive. And look. We've got a sunset. Is that an overdress? Not that spectacular, is it? But it is a sunset nonetheless. Well, yeah. Bastards bollocks <clears throat> and sunset overdrive. A winning combination. See you soon. Right, I knew the day had come. I've had to come back and put all the earths in. So, that's today's job. Knew it was going to happen. So, I'm just going to drive down the mall now and get them all set in. I still, they've still got no heat shrink, so I can't heat shrink them, but I can do the... I can actually put the crimp on. Right then, today's task. What we did, or what somebody else did, should I say, was they put the cables in as they rolled in in the fours, and they crossed them inside. And the people whose job it is came along and said, no, we don't want any crosses inside, we want crosses outside. So we've had to take them all out, every one of them, there's a load of them, take them all out, and now I'm reinstalling them with the crosses on the outside. So I can't really show you that because it's sort of, it's up, it's quite high up, but what I can show you is the insides, what I've completed. So I'll have a quick look at that. So that's what we've got. There's one, two, three, four. That's 
so I managed, I managed to get done yesterday. I've got three to do this morning. Oh no, I haven't got four to do this morning. There's one over the other side of the panel. And then I'm going back into the data hall, which is what I was doing last week. Um, it's Thursday today, so it's been a slow, slow old week this week. Because it's a fast track job, it's like, like 100 miles an hour, and it's hard to set the phone up and get it all, and the camera up and get it all set, you know? Nope. They dropped the bloody thing then. So yeah, it's, a, it's been a bit difficult on this job to get started, but I'm sure I'll find some half decent content somewhere along the line. Um, yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to sort something out when I go in the data hall later on today. And uh, I'll be back in touch. See you in a bit. Right, here we go. This is the setup for this morning. I've got four and the earth dropping. I'm just going to cut them now. And then I've got another four on that side. And that's the plant. That's the plant today. I want to be away by about 12 o'clock. So I'm going to try and get these two or eight done. Get them finished. Get wrapped up and get home. I'm going to see the little boy swimming and then I'm off to see uh, the Rolling Stones tomorrow after I take the little fella to football. So I'll be going to see Mick Jagger and co in London with me pal. So this is what I managed to take. None of the gig whatsoever. A Lamborghini, uh, a can of beer, me being drunk in the middle of the street, me trying to take a photograph of the street, then me standing in the street and then me telling a joke. So there you go. Hey mate, how does they get to the nearest church? What, that one over there? Yeah, that one over there. Oh, they just go down street. So that would be nice one. Yeah, I'm just gonna chop these now. Uh, I've borrowed, oh, I'll show you this. I've borrowed Tim, the other jointer who was on here. I've borrowed his uh, Milwaukee battery cutter. I'm thinking about getting one. See what you think. So you can only cut one cut at a time, but it is incredibly lightweight, it's easily manoeuvrable in one hand, and uh, it's pretty quick as well, and you get, a, I think it's, out of a 2 amp battery, <coughs> you get 160 cuts, so you're getting 300 out of this easy, aren't you? It's, uh, it's a decent bit of kit, 950 quid brand new with a battery, a charger, and a case. So, hmm, I'm a thinking about one. I'd like one of them, and I want a hole punch, and I think Milwaukee do a hole punch as well. So, I might see about it. All right, that's it. Those in. Oh, oh, oh dear. Those in. There you go. Those in into there. There we go. That's me done for the day. It is twenty to twelve. I think it may be even a shorter video this week, but that's what we got done. Um, I'm off now. Drive home, and then I'll be going to the Rolling Stones tomorrow in that big London in Hyde Park. So. If any is, anyone's gone and they see and they see me, come and say hello. As usual, little thumbs up, and I'll see you see you on the next one. Ta ta.